I had a need to wire up one of these 50 amp uh, plugs and they don't come with any instructions. It took me a minute to kind of figure out how you put these together. So just thought I'd do a quick video on uh, how this works. Now to start with, just set the plastic part aside and you're gonna need um, two of these. Most of the kits come with two of these plugs and four of these and you're gonna need two of them to get started. Now there's two different ways to uh, put your wires into here and I'm actually putting in some wires today that are actually kind of small uh, for these connectors but it's what I need for the purpose that I'm doing. Um, normally it'd probably be two or three times that size that you'd put in there and then you could crimp that down uh, with some crimpers but the best way to do it is to solder them in there and that's what we're going to do today. Now when you go to do this, this is going to get extremely hot so I'm going to clamp it in a little C-clamp just to hold it for me like that. Now I'm going to need both my hands to solder this in there so I'm going to take this little clamp and I'm going to clamp the wire into that and then get it positioned down in there just like I want it because that's where it's going to be forever. There we go. All right, light your torch. Like I said, your wire is going to be much bigger than this, and if you got a couple of people, it'll make, make your life easier too. Now this is going to hold quite a bit of solder, so I'm going to go ahead and roll this out pretty good. Then here we go. Now, as I'm heating this up, I want to be careful not to burn all the insulation off of my other off of my wire, so I'm going to heat it kind of low. See how it's burning? I wish I had a smaller torch. And you just keep, you just take the solder and fill that cup up. Now you're going to have to give it a couple of minutes to cool. Okay, so I think that's got it cooled enough, yeah. Alright, so this is going to be really hot, so i got to be careful. Alright, now I'm going to get my next one positioned. All right, here we go again. Remember to heat toward the bottom, try not to burn your wire, which I keep doing because my flame's too big. All right, I think that's got it solid now. All right, so it's just a little jar of water that I keep laying around the shop to cool stuff. All right, so I want to make sure that these are cool. Okay, so they should be cool, cool enough for you to, you know, to touch and hold on to before you put them into here. Otherwise, you'll melt this plastic. Now, if you look down inside of here, 
you'll see that there's a couple of tabs and you have to put what's going to happen is is this little tab is going to clip right here in this edge you can see oh, there's on these uh, ends there's two different ends let me zoom you in a little bit okay you could there's two different sides okay this one's just got kind of a hump to it and this one's got a distinct ridge right there okay the part with the ridge you can see how this this is set you want to be sure okay I gotta get I've got this is the red side is positive and so this is the positive side it's got a plus sign here's the negative side okay now when you put this in when it's sitting like this take the part with the definite ridge and put it on the downside so you've got the hump on the upper side and then you're gonna slide it down in there like that well, you're gonna slide it down in there like that and then just push it forward you gotta kinda force it in there till you hear it click and see now let's see now that humped part is right here and that ridge is held in place by that pin back behind it okay so now we're gonna put this one in and you're gonna take with the with the humped the rounded side of your plug up and the humped side of your end up you're going to push that in and then it takes a little doing but you got to push it in hard until you hear it click like that and then there's your humped side right there and right there and that ridge is used it's held in, in place by that clip it's in there okay and that's how you put these that's how you put these plugs on. Hope that was useful to you. Thank you for watching.